Did you know that your hand, yep, your hand is a powerful tool to help you from overeating. All you need is right here. It's really that simple. Let's get started with the three most important macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats. Of course, protein is my favorite, so let's start with that one. For protein, if you're a woman, you want to have between three to four ounces, obviously depending on your size and what you're doing for your workouts, if you're maintaining or building, as well as for men, they want to be maybe between four to six ounces, of course, depending on what your workouts are consisting of. Three ounces is about the size of your palm. So really just using your palm for protein is the easiest way. Palm, your protein is anything that is meat, so steak, chicken, turkey, salmon, any sort of fish is all protein. So let's use our palm for that. Next, let's move on to those yummy carbs. Now, carbs are a bit different because carbs consist of many different sorts. So we have actually three different measurements for carbs. Starchy carbs have two different measurements. If you cup your fist, that is a starchy carb. Now this is about a one cup measurement. If you're wanting to have one cup, your fist is a great measurement for that. If you want to have half a cup, what I do suggest is just kind of flipping your wrist and then using the top of your knuckles. So this boxed area, which is about the size of a mouse, would be half a cup. So any sort of oats, rice, pasta, br bread, sort of, are all carbs. So that would be either the whole fist or the top of the fist. Now, veggies are also carbs. I know, mind blown, but they are. They're just a lower consistency of carbs, but they're still carbs. So because they have more fiber within them, we can have more of them because that kind of offsets the amount of starch that's within them. So for leafy greens or any kind of veg, you always want to cup two palms together, which will give you two whole cups. Two cups is great for any kale, broccoli, salads, or leafy greens. Moving on to those yummy, yummy fats. Now, I'm talking about those healthy fats, not those saturated fats. So I'm talking about those nut butters, peanut butter, almond butter, oil, coconut oil, butter. Those are all one tablespoon. So a great measurement for that is the end of your thumb. The end of your thumb, not the whole thumb, just the end. So that's one tablespoon. Okay, so those are the basic three, but how do we calculate our snacks or maybe dairy? I personally don't eat that much dairy, but I can't lie, I love, love, love my cheese. So a great way to measure cheese is actually putting your two thumbs together. The length of your two thumbs is about one ounce, which is about the equated amount that you're allowed to have of cheese. And last, but certainly not least or ever, is snacks. Now, we all love our snacks. I'm a huge snack person. I love me some yummy pretzels or chips or bacon. Bacon's not a really a snack, but man, bacon's yummy. <laughs> Anyways, I do love my snacks. So, a great way to have snacks or kind of staying in that right portion size of snacks is cupping your hand. This is gonna be about two ounces. Now, I don't mean the whole hand. I literally mean like a cupped hand. So it's not very much, not very full but a cupped hand is about two ounces. My name is Luba and this is LubaChavsky.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, you know, comment your favorite tip today. If there's anything that I can help you with, if there's any questions you have, please comment below. I love reading all your comments. I love helping you guys. I love connecting because you guys, you know, you're why I do this. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you learn something new and please write me a little message below. I love reading them and I love, 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 love responding. So hope you have a wonderful day and smile always. Bye for now.